it's me again. And I was about ready to film, and then it got really dark all of a sudden, and we're under a very bad thunderstorm watch. And it's like, purple and black coming my way. And I'm like, oh boy, those look like some foreboding, ominous clouds. Today's date is April 22nd, 2023. It's a Saturday. And I have a FOIA update for you guys. Earlier this month, after seeing Howard's response to his FOIA request about any and all information pertaining to MMTLP, the SEC provided a series of emails. Now, to those people who aren't familiar with the nuances of MMTLP and the whole dramatic series that comes with it, these emails seem rather innocuous. There's some meetings, perhaps an investigation. Oh, we're going to send you the blue sheet. Hey, let's have a meeting. So if you're not familiar with the whole storyline of MMTLP, it does seem rather innocuous. Howard was able to get those emails. I cited Howard's FOIA number, his FOIA request number, and I showed a picture of the email with the circled stating, hey, we sent you the blue sheets from Sam Dratty's office to the SEC's office. Let's have a meeting about it. I cited that email, and I said, I'd like to see those blue sheets. And then the next business day, I got a formal letter saying that they are looking into it, and if they can provide me an answer, I'll get it by, at the time, May 17th, May 18th. Okay, they gave me a timeline. Just over a week ago, I submitted another FOIA request. As we know, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons had an S1 come out in January that said, hey, we have 40 million shares that might be for sale. Here's the S1 pertaining to those 40 million shares. No offering price, no date. And then the next day, immediately after, NextBridge put a hold on that S1. What does that hold do? It allows time for the SEC to make a comment. If the SEC doesn't comment on the S1, then the S1 could go into effect after so many days. If NextBridge Hydrocarbons delays the S1, then it's up to them when they want to release it. The SEC can look at it. It's not going to become effective. This helps keep NextBridge private. And it helps keep this from not intentionally trading. Great. I sent a FOIA request saying, hey, here's the CIK of NextBridge. Here's the filing number with the SEC. You know, it's an S1 is filed on this day. I gave very specific information so they know exactly what I was looking for. And I said, the SEC provides comment letters on this. One, is there a comment letter? Two, can I see the comment letter? Yesterday, I got a response that said, no, you may not see the comment letter. You can look at it now. The SEC response to my FOIA reads as the following. Dear Bird Lady, this letter is in response to your request dated April 14th, 2023. I received in the office on the 17th, 2023. So it didn't take very long to get back to me. For information regarding comments on the form S1, filed by Nextbridge Hydrocarbons from January 23rd through April 14th, 2023. After conducting a search, we determined to withhold correspondence that may be responsive to your request because the registration is pending. The correspondence is being withheld under 5 U.S.C. Section 552, Subset B, Subset 4, since it contains confidential commercial or financial information that is protected from release under Exemption 4. Please be advised that we have considered the foreseeable harm 
standard in preparing this response. I'm not sure what that means. I'm the deciding official with this regard to this adverse determination. You have the right to appeal it. You know, all the rights, privileges pertaining there too. So the SEC told me that, no, we can't show you this, this comment letter. We can't show it to you because we don't have to show it to you. It's not able to be disclosed. Fine. How is this an update, bird lady? Well, well, they gave me a comment about my second FOIA request about the S1, right? I submitted that about, you know, two weeks after the other S1. So shortly thereafter, after seeing it, the next business day, I submitted a FOIA request for the blue sheets. A few weeks have passed now, and I have not received a comment from the SEC. A, now, I have the letter saying that they received it. Here's your reference number. You know, you'll get a response by May 17th, May 18th. Great. They haven't told me no yet, or we can't get you that information. They haven't told me no, and it's been several weeks. This actually makes me more excited that I might get something than before. Before, I'm like, oh, what if time passes and I don't get anything? Well, here's an S1. Some time has passed, and they said no. And I filed one later. That's like my acid test. This was rejected. But the other one's still in process. They haven't said no yet. So I'm very excited now that I might get something. I don't know what I'm going to get. Will I get everything? Will I get only some things? Will I get what was in that attachment in that email? We will see. But when I do get something, I will let you know. Because who knows what we're going to get. It'll be like Christmas. Or are they going to tell me no? The likelihood of them telling me no at this point, I think, is much lower than what it was Friday morning. Friday morning, I was like, well, they might give me a letter and say we couldn't find anything. But then I got this letter from a FOIA request I did two weeks later. And after a week, they said, no, we can't, we can't do that. Okay. I've been told that for the blue sheets. So that's my update today in that I did get a rejection saying we can't disclose that information to you about the SEC comment on the S1. However, I have yet to receive something like that with the blue sheets and that was submitted two weeks prior at the beginning of April. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Keeps Checking on that sky, seeing some what kind of cloud formations and what color it is. The radar isn't looking good. I will see you soon. Goodbye.